All right, guys, last video. Just wanted to give you a quick little peek at kind of what our parking lot looks like. So up that way is Baptist Church Road and Tesson Ferry. And up that way is Lindbergh. So we're gonna have you guys parking out back. You can see our sign there, and then you'll enter that uh, little orange door. And when you go in to the door, give you a little tour so you know what to expect. The door will be unlocked at 7 a.m. Uh, it's probably the weirdest part, a long hallway. So you're gonna come all the way down to the end of the hallway and we really want this part right here. It seemed kind of narrow, but uh, this is one of the places you guys could set up your chairs and your coolers and stuff. That would be great since it's supposed to rain tomorrow. First door we come to is the men's bathroom. Second door we come to is the women's bathroom. This is at the end of the hallway here. This is kind of our check-in room, but I wanted to show you guys this. So if you head down this hallway, a little bit wider down here and this we've got some benches and chairs set up for you guys and then this is kind of our warm-up area so we've got our assault bikes we've got our rowers um, after the first workout is done we'll bring the skiers down here but um, this isn't a competition that uh, you know you have three hours between events so if you look at your heat times it's gonna be bing, bang, boom with this stuff. Obviously, you guys are gonna have some time in between workouts, um, and I would highly recommend making sure you come out into this hallway and uh, cool down after each workout. Uh, but that's where you come in. You'll walk all the way down this hallway past the drinking fountains, and then this is how we get into the gym. So uh, we scrubbed it down real well for you guys. It's all disinfected. Uh, ready for you guys to come get nice and sweaty. This is gonna be kind of our warm up area for the athletes um, in the later heats. So what'll happen is in the main area, this is where heat one will warm up. So tomorrow morning, barbells will be laid out for heat one, our first RX heat. Uh, so heat one will warm up on the floor and then heat two can start warming up back here. And we've got uh, some ski ergs and stuff back here that you guys will be able to use and some deadlift bars and some weights. Since we really are trying to abide by county restrictions, um, we would really appreciate only having the athletes that are in the active heat in here and then the athletes that are getting warmed up for the next heat over here. We would ask that if you're not in the competing heat or in the subsequent next heat, please do your best to try to stay out here. Uh, we, we definitely put all of our, our rowers and our bike machines out here. Uh, if you guys could set up your chairs and your coolers in the narrow hallway, and then we have plenty of room uh, to warm up and cool down out here. We're really excited. We hope that you guys are excited. I did want to say one last thing especially for the athletes in the RX division. Um, we have our championship wad for the top three teams. Please reference the movement proficiencies list. It's at the bottom of like the web page, uh, the Wattify Arena web page, because there's an unknown and unknown element in the championship workout. So make sure you look at those movement proficiencies. We're not gonna surprise you with any cra anything crazy, but even the athletes in the scaled division, please reference that movement proficiencies standards and make sure you come prepared for any of the movements that you see on that list. After we get the top three RX teams and top three scaled teams, after our first three workouts, uh, we will brief those teams on the championship workout. And uh, then we'll give you guys a little bit of time to prepare and then we'll hit the ground running with the championship workout. Look forward to seeing you. Hope you guys are excited and we will see you tomorrow.